Hello my dear students we are about to see the summary of the supplementary reader from unit 1 god sees the truth but waits by leo tolstoy before i begin here's a thought for the day the best thing about telling the truth is that you don't have to remember what you said so always speak the truth and be truthful to others think about a time when you have suffered because of the actions of another person how did you respond while many would seek vengeance or feel sorry for themselves in leo tolstoy's god sees the truth but waits ivan dmitrich akshino the protagonist puts his trust in god to see him through his trials We have three characters in this story. They are Ivan Dmitrich Akshino. In Russia, Ivan is pronounced as Ivan, but in British and American English, it is pronounced as Ivan. So we shall use Ivan. The next one is Akshino's wife, and the third one is Makar Samyunich. Come on, let's meet the author. Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy, otherwise known as Leo Tolstoy, was one of the world's preeminent writers who is regarded as one of the greatest authors of all time. Born to an aristocratic Russian family, he is best known for the novels War and Peace and Anna Karenina, often cited as pinnacles of realist fiction. He first achieved literary acclaim in his 20s with his semi-autobiographical trilogy Childhood, Boyhood and Youth and Sevastopol sketches based upon his experiences in the Crimean War. Here's a summary of the story. Once there lived a young merchant named Ivan Dmitrich Akshino with his family in the land of Vladimir, Russia, who in his younger days lived life to the fullest by experiencing all the material things world has to offer until he got married. One summer, he planned to go to Nizhny Fair. Nizhny Fair is one of the most interesting Nizhny sites. But his wife warned him that she had a bad dream of her husband. She dreamt that Ivan returned from the town with hair of grey. Ivan laughed as if he doesn't care and went on to the fair. He travelled halfway and met a merchant whom he spent the night drinking tea with and shared an adjoining room in the inn. Since Akshino was not used of sleeping for long hours, he decided to wake up and continued his journey. About 25 miles round the road, Akshino was apprehended by soldiers who accused him of murdering his acquaintance. Based on having been seen with the man the night before his murder and because they found his early morning departure suspicious, They searched Akshino's bag and found a bloody knife. Despite Akshino's claims that he was not the murderer, he was sentenced and sent to Siberia. Learning the sad fate of Akshino, his wife remembered her dream about Akshino and was worried and even considered the thought of her husband being guilty. Her thought made Akshino even sadder. Akshino spent 26 years in Siberia, resigned to his plight. He dedicates his life to God. He is well respected by the other prisoners as well as by the guards. One day, some new prisoners are transferred to the prison. A man from Akshino's hometown named Makar Samyunich is also sent to the prison. 
After overhearing several conversations, Akshino is convinced that Makar Samyunich is the man who murdered the merchant before 26 years for which Akshino was blamed and sentenced. Akshino is filled with anger. One day, the guards notice that someone has dug a tunnel inside the prison to escape. Akshino found out earlier that it was Makas Samyunich who had dug the hole. But after being questioned by the guards, Akshino declares that it is not his place to speak about the matter. Akshino's integrity convicts Samyunich who begs for forgiveness and confesses that it was he who killed the merchant and he also planned to murder Akshino but spared him after hearing noises. Akshino forgives Samyunich and he feels as if a terrible weight has been lifted. Mecca confesses to the authorities and the procedure for Akshino's release begins. By the time Akshino is released, he no longer wishes to go home to his family but is ready to be with the Lord. Akshino dies in the prison. And the tragedy ends here. There are three moral values which we learn from the lesson God sees the truth but waits. First one, the benefit of helping out others. Because when you do so, they will help you in return when you need help. Second one, the power of confession. Samunich is released from guilt after confessing. Third one, the power of forgiveness. Akshino feels free when he forgives Samunich. Now let's take a closer look of the main characters. First, Ivan Dimitrich Akshino, the protagonist of the story. Protagonist means the leading or one of the major characters. Akshino is a young, good nature, handsome Russian merchant with a stable, pleasant life until he is framed for murder and exiled to Siberia. He is calm and even tempered and his rational mind is balanced by his good heart and prayerful way of life. Akshino provides a model example of dealing with hardship and suffering even unwarranted and his great act of forgiveness at the story's end proves his moral character. Next Akshino's wife a minor character. Akshino's wife nevertheless plays an important role at the beginning of the story. When her husband prepares to go to the Nizhny fair in town, she warns him of a foreboding dream. She had and begs him not to go. When he goes anyway and tragedy befalls him, she is doubly grief-stricken on account of the accuracy of her prediction and the loss of her husband. The next one is Maka Samunich, the antagonist and the villain of the story. Maka Samunich first appears as a fellow prisoner in Siberia. Akshino discovers, however, that Samunich is the man who killed the merchant. He himself was accused of killing and framed Akshino for the heinous crime. Samunich demonstrates no remorse for his action until Akshino protects him and forgives him, at which point he undergoes a dramatic change of heart. It's time to analyze the meaning of the title. God knows the truth but waits for people to do the right thing. God always has the best plan for us that we may not know. So we must always be patient and persevered. 
let me conclude don't worry god is never blind to your tears never deaf to your prayers and never silent to your pain he sees he hears and he will deliver so be happy and believe in yourself thank you